lead to disaster there has to be a system to manage defects so that defect free quality product could be delivered to the client so let us learn what is defect management process defect management may be defined as systematic approach or process which involves identifying bugs and getting it fixed in order to deliver defect free quality product to client defect management life cycle can be may be divided into following stages discovery of defects defect categorization fixing of defect by developers verification by testers defect closure defect reports at end of project let us see all these stages one by one and understand what happens in each of the stages given above let us see our first stage which is discovery in this stage what happens is that defects are identified by testing team and once it is reported to development team and if they accept it then it is considered to be valid defect in discovery phase the project team project teams have to discover as many defects as possible before end before the end customer discovers it or defect is said to be discovered and changed to status accepted when it is acknowledged and accepted by developers now after defects are detected and identified and accepted by development team next thing that needs to be done is defect categorization now let us understand what is use of defect categorization defect categorization helps software developer to prioritize their work and to focus on high priority defects first and concentrate on high priority defects which have defects are generally categorized by defect manager or test manager let us see some of defects with its priority the performance of the site is too slow this is description of defect and its priority is high because it is not good thing and it is big issue so its priority is high explanation is the performance issues effect heavily impact version of new version of application user we can say heavily impact application user so if defect is that performance of website is too slow then its explanation is the performance issue heavily impact application user and its priority is high
login functionality of the website does not work properly critical login functionality is the entry point of application it has to be fixed anyhow otherwise application is of no use and we cannot do anything without logging to the application so it is critical third is the graphical user interface of website does not display correctly on mobile devices it may be considered as medium defect this defect impacts only the user who uses a smartphone to visit website so it is not that mandatory so it may be considered as medium this website is unable to remember the user login session it is also high priority because it may be considered very serious issue and has to be fixed on high priority because it is really blocking further transaction in the application some of links are not working there may be html links which are not working in the application and that is not very critical to the application in terms of use so it may be considered as low priority defect it is not very crucial and low priority bug because it does not have any major impact on application it can be fixed after all priority high priority issues are fixed next our now our next stage of defect management cycle is defect resolution let us see what defect resolution is this is still related to fixing of defects that has been reported to development team after defect is assigned to developer developer schedule fixing of defect based on priority and after all defects are fixed by developer or development team they are sent to testing team to check whether it has been fixed properly or not and after it is found to be fixed it is closed this process makes defect cycle very easy to manage and track so after defect is fixed by development team it is sent to testing team for verification let us see what happens in verification in this stage testing team checks whether defects has actually been fixed properly and do not have any impact on application now after testing is done by testing team and it has been verified that it has actually been resolved next stage is closure let us see what happens in closure after defect is verified by testing team and our and no further action is required on defect the status of defect is said to be closed and it is said to closed now one more aspect of it is that if it is if defect is not fixed by developer and there is issue found in defect again it is sent back to development team for fixing and process continues till defect is fixed 
next comes defect reporting defect reporting in software testing is a process in which test manager prepares and sends defect report to management team for feedback on defect management process and defect status then management team checks defect report and sends feedback or further or provide further support if needed defect reporting helps to better communicate track and explain defect in detail also purpose is to share knowledge with management team as well as get feedback from them so this is all about defect management cycle defect management process cycle we can say we have seen a starting from discovery where defect has been detected and report it to development team to the time it is fixed and we saw all stages starting from defect detection to defect detection to defect closure thank you